If you're new to my class, this is an accessible class to all body types. So whether you are a returning client and you're feeling super strong, or if you are coming back from a hiatus, you are in good hands, okay? So we are gonna start, it's time. Bring yourself into your space. Ooh, we have one more person trying to get in. I'm gonna re let them in, but bring yourself into your space. And the first thing we're gonna do today is we're just gonna kind of shake it off. So if something is just kind of like lingering or if you just got, woke up from a nap or say you just came from your computer and you finished firing off that final email before this, just let it go. Let it go instead of harboring and letting it manifest in your system. So bring your feet nice and wide apart, soften the knees. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. And exhale, arms at the sides. Nice broad chest, so don't be afraid to stick them out. Good, inhale, reach up. And exhale, arms back down at the sides. Last time, inhale to reach up. So I'm just admitting some more folks in and exhale down your sides. So if you're just walking into this class, you need one heavy dumbbell, a yoga mat, a good catitude. You guys, we're all going to hit play together. If you are using the playlist, the link is in the chat. Go ahead and hit play in four, three, two, one, hit it. Zoop. I love sound effects, it's my favorite. And then, come back to your workout space. We're gonna start with a nice and easy warm up and move right into our blocks. I just wanna make sure I've got my timing module on because heaven forbid I make you warm up for too long, right? Ha ha ha, all right. Okie dokie, come back to your space. We're gonna start with just a heel rock. So you're gonna rock onto the heels, Oop, don't fall, and off the heels. So I like to use my arms here so I don't fall because that's what I almost did. Shoes are optional. I'm wearing shoes just because it's dark in this space today. I lost the light. Um, so I decided white shoes so you can see me moves. All right, last one. So calves maybe feel a little bit warm here. And then we're just going to start to peel the arms open and close them in. So my feet are still planted. I'm literally doing a little bat wing thing. So I'm just opening up and closing down. Mandy, where might I breathe here? Maybe you exhale them open, inhale them closed. Give me two more. We're gonna to start to add the feet. So I'm gonna take it side to side. I know that the beat of the music is much faster. Don't worry. It's just there to motivate you. If you wanna to move to the temple, that's cool. I'm not gonna tell you what to do with your body and with your life. That's not my job. My job is to help guide us through. Let's go for two more. And last one, good, back up to the back of your mat. Bring your feet a little tighter in, dropping down to a, a squat. So notice if once you drop down, you're kind of letting the knees fall out. I want you to imagine fist between the knees, squeeze the fist. So you feel a little engagement through the inner thighs. Now switch the squeeze, good. And then bring the feet a little wider apart. I want you to reach for the floor and then twist up, back through center. Reach for the floor and twist up, back through center. Make sure you're rising all the way to stand. I'm gonna show this to you from the side. I'm reaching and twisting. Oops, losing my balance too. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for two more. Let's go for one more. Don't worry, we've got plenty of time left in the warm, about a minute and a half. And then I still want you at the back of your mat. From here, let's walk it out to plank. Hold plank. Take a moment, really solidify. So I'm gonna show this to you from this side. Elbows pin towards the ribs, drive the weight forward. Think about squeezing your cheeks, not the ones on your face. Good. Then from here, I want you to lift your hips up and tiptoe your way forward to the top of your mat. Roll yourself to stand and shuffle your way back. Let's do that just one more time. Hinge at the waist, walk it out to plank. Hold, then tip the hips up. Tiptoe the feet forward, and then rise and shuffle your way back. Gorgeous. Bring the knees down, take the right foot forward, right hand down, open up the chest. Then switch, left forward, 
open up the chest on the right. It's okay if the fingertips don't touch the floor. So maybe I just take my forearm to the thigh and open out. That's okay, right? We're warming up still. Last one on the right, last one on the left. So I'm just showing the modified version if you needed it. Then stand your way up. Good. We're going to go for a couple of hamstring kicks. So what this is doing is opening up the hamstring in the back of the body. Notice how I'm keeping my upper body pretty tall here. Good. Three, two, and my friends, that's the end of the warm up. Okay. Are we ready? Ready for the real work? We're going to start with our cardio block. So all you need is you. Um, if you want a mat, you can have it, but I, I, it's not absolute. We're going to start with a single side, reverse lunge, hamstring kick, and twist, okay? Three, two, one. Step to the top of your mat. Reverse lunge, twist, and kick. Bambi, what if I can't reach for the bottom of my foot like you're doing? Well, instead of that, reach for the knee. Maybe I'm keeping a soft bend in the knee. But if I really want to up the ante, I'm going to pick up that pace and focus on the upper body twist, the thoracic spine twist. Good. So right here, my left leg is burning. I can feel that left leg really working to stabilize. Now here's the good news. Not much to learn. Switch your sides here. Left foot comes back. You twist over that left thigh. Yeah, so make sure when you're going into that reverse lunge, you're not shifting your weight forward. You're keeping it back and perpendicular to the ground and keeping that chest super long. I'm thankful because I have great hamstring mobility. Not everybody does. So again, using the outer thigh as a way to make connection might be for you in this first round, especially. Four, three, two, join me in the center of your mat feet together. When I say stop, you hold, okay? Freeze when I say stop. You're gonna step it out, straddle your mat. So now that we're off the mat, it's almost like it's a lava pot. Stop, hold, continue. Maybe you move a little faster. Stop, hold. Mandy, what if I'm on the same leg? That's okay, continue. Stop, hold. Good, continue. Maybe you travel front to back, stop and hold. Woo, what's if you end up on that little bit of your mat? Stop, hold. Good, keep going. You're done in three, stop, hold. Two and one. Last bit, drop to the back of the mat, knees down. Right foot forward, open. Return and switch. Huh, weird, this is part of the warm up. So I'm on my knees. I'm taking the right foot forward. That means my right hand comes inside of the right foot. Lots of twisting. I'm just showing you different vantage points. You don't have to move around on your mat. You can just stay facing forward. Big twist. Lean forward, use that abdominal region to find a deeper twist. Good. Now team, you got about three seconds. Finish this side out. Two, one, and that's a 30 second rest. So four activities, one block. We do it again. At the end of this block, you're gonna get a rest. And then we move into our second block, which is our strength block, okay? So it's fairly straightforward. We get to learn four cardio activities, four strength activities. We get to do them at least three times. Are we ready? Say yes. Three, two, left leg first. Let's go. Big back lunge twist. Why would I start with my left leg in the second round? Maybe because I started with my right in the first. So for muscular balance, if you're always leading with your dominant side, for me, that's my right side, I would invite you to find a way to start on your weaker side. And if you don't know, 
Start on the side you don't write with. Three, two, switch your sides now. Right leg, reverse lunge. I twist over the right hip. Yes, the left foot is entirely grounded, so I'm not letting that left heel pop off the floor. Upper body perpendicular. My heart rate's raising. I don't know about you, but I feel my heart kind of bursting through my real world shirt. You guys, I was on one episode. You wouldn't recognize me because I have clown makeup on. Okay, super close. This is four, three. We have the skater call out. Let's go, start with your skater. Mandy, what if I'm not jumping? I just want you to step. When I say stop, you hold, all right? Stop. Continue. Get that twist in there. Stop. Continue. So when I say stop, you just have to stop for like two seconds. Stop. And then just keep on going. Single leg balance. Whew, almost lost my balance there. Stop. Nice. Continue. So when I'm doing this, I'm not letting my back round. I'm sticking my chest out. Stop. Continue. Stop. Continue. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Take a kneel onto your mat. Good. Left foot forward. Reach. And switch and reach. I like this because it really does work my sides. But I also feel a beautiful chest stretch. Meanwhile, still cardio. One, one tempo with all of it. Team. You got about 15 more seconds to go. You got it. Careful the shoulders don't elevate. Give yourself that space. Last five, four, three, two, and that's the end of the block. Cheers, high five. Resty boot will do, you deserve a minute. Did this last week. I put my water somewhere and I have no clue. So I'm just going to get a new one. Cheers. Okay. So next up is strength. We use one dumbbell. I'm using a 12. You can use something lighter. Your first move is an isometric hold, static hold. So all you have to do is hold squat with your dumbbell out in front of your chest. Okie dokie. Next two pieces are single side and we finish with a squat rack. Okie dokie. Five, four, bring your feet as wide as your mat apart. Make sure your toes and your knees are pointing forward. Bring your weight in front of your heart. Drop into your squat, 45 hold. I want you to imagine you're pushing your knees out. Now in this hold, see how my lower back has a slight curve? See if you can tuck in and drop down a little lower. So you're creating a straight line from the crown through the shoulders to the hips. You should be able to see your toes here. Stay low, avoid moving. See if you can hold completely still, you're halfway there. Can you drop a little lower without compromising? Again, that small of the back. Yes. If this feels too easy for you, reach your dumbbell out. Nine. Otherwise, if you're me, you're gonna hold it steady right in front of the heart. Three, two, rise. Dumbbell goes in the right hand. Bring your feet a little closer together. Hinge, one wide grip row to rise. Show this to you in a little bit of a diagonal. Inhale, exhale, and rise. Mandy, what if I want to do more rows? You can do two at the bottom and rise, right? It's a wide grip row. What does that mean? That means my elbow comes out wide. I like having my left hand on my hip crux. It reminds me of where I'm hinging, right at the hips. In a moment, we switch over to side two. That'll be our left side. Three, two, Switch the dumbbell over to the left, 
feet about a shoulder width apart. Again, hand on the hip crux, hand on the hip. If you feel your lower back working, well, congratulations, it is supposed to work. But a little bit of feedback by using that back side of the hand, fill out that lower back for yourself. Again, just showing you different vantage points here. You don't need to move around. My elbow stays wide out, just from the back. Pull that weight up towards the outer edge of your chest. You've got eight more seconds. Now our last activity, we're gonna start moving in the squat, alternating the arms for a rack. Good, set the dumbbell down between your feet. Then from here, squat down, grab the dumbbell, rack it to the chest, come down, set it down, switch the arms, rack it to the chest, set it down, switch the arms, rack. Let me show this to you from the side again. Set it down, squeeze to rack. Where's the exhale? On the way up, away from gravity. And switch. You're literally just bringing it right to the front of the shoulder, drop into your squat. So we worked on keeping our squat totally static. Now we can move it. Three, two, and that's your 30 rest. Okay, so the good news is you've learned the four. You're gonna do it again, okay? At the end of that, you'll get a minute to rest and we put those two blocks together. Block one, we do once. Block two, we do once to total the block, okay? And if you're confused, it's all good. I got it all written down. All right, I'm gonna start with my left arm. Oh, excuse me, I'm not gonna start with my left arm. I'm gonna hold still and uh, squat, hold. <sighs> Biggest piece of advice here, don't give up. If you need to, you can modify. What's a great modification? Drop off the weight, fist to fist. If I need a progression, what did I do last time? I extended the weight out a little further away from my chest. So there's options, but I want you to hold still. You've got 10 more seconds. I invite you to wiggle your toes, look down at them, see if you can see them, and sink your hips down. Four, three, Two, rise, dumbbell goes in the left hand. Step the feet a little closer together. Maybe this time right arm out to the side. Hinge, wide grip row, and rise. So maybe I take my hand behind my ear for more of a challenge, or I come back to the support of the lumbar spine. Mandy, I'm noticing your knees bend when you hinge. Yes, there is a soft bend. It's not a squat. The primary mover is at the hips. But if your hamstrings are tight, or if you ever feel this in the back of your knee because of hypermobility, that's what I suffer from, you may want to keep that soft bend. Switch your arms. So I'm going to show this to you again from a little bit of a diagonal. Hinge, one row. Mandy, can I do two? Yes. So there's some options here. Rise up, squeeze your cheeks, broaden, really exalt your chest forward. Good. Now the good news about the first two blocks is you get the opportunity to do everything twice and you'll be able to do that in blocks four and five. But the unique thing about these four sums of exercise is you'll get a third round of all of it. Bigger muscle groups too, so it's good. This is eight. Use that diaphragmatic breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, two and one. Okay, now we come back to that squat rack. Set the dumbbell between the feet. Squat down, grab it with the left arm, right arm reaches out, rack it to the shoulder, bring it down, switch the arms, rack, bring it to the shoulder and switch. You can move quicker or you can move slower. What's most important is it the tempo necessarily. It's going to be the depth of the hips and the support of the spine. Drop it through, switch. You got time for one more. Three, two, one. That's a rest. Okay, that's the end of the block. 
So those eight activities, we're gonna do one more time in block three. So it'll go cardio, 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 30 seconds rest, strength, 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 no surprises. It's just repetition, it's just consistency. So in 30 seconds, we're gonna go. Now's a great time to just check in. Where are you holding tension? Lick your lips, swallow, move things, move things around. Um, grab a sip of water if you need it, towel off if you need it. We're starting with our cardio in about 15. Are you having fun? Are you glad you're here? I am too. Okay, cardio to start. Make sure that your dumbbell is somewhere nearby. We've got a reverse lunge into that hamstring stretch and twist. Team, we go in three, two. I'm gonna start with that right leg one and begin. Reverse and then twist. So I'm adding a little arm with this. Maybe I'm reaching that right arm forward as I drop into the lunge. If you wanna see this profile, I'm keeping my upper body perpendicular. It's hard to do slow. Return. Can you get your chest flush to the side of your room? Maybe not, that's all right. Right, progress, progress. Staying away from stagnation, moving forward. Good, we're gonna switch legs here in five, four, three, two, and switch it out, begin. Left leg comes back, rise, accelerate from the ground. Showing this to you again. The heel of the right stays rooted. Whoops, wrong arm. I knew that felt weird. Can you even pause at the base of this as if we're moving into that hesitation skater, which happens to be next? So, on the hesitation skater that's coming up, I want you to do your own pauses. I want you to challenge yourself on speed and stability. All right? Five. Four, three, two, give me one more. Good, step to the middle of your mat. Skater, let's go. Hesitate when you can. And you can count to two in your head, or maybe even count to three. Again, if you're not jumping, it's a step, step, maybe a hold on number three, so you get every other leg, right? Maybe you add in, a little rise off the ground. You're halfway done. Right, it's not necessity. Again, checking out your posture. If you're doing one of these numbers, slow it down and focus on that back work. Yep, you got this. We're coming down to the floor here in five, four, three, two, and knees to the ground, please. All right, right with right, left with left. I'll go to the left first. And switch. Here's an opportunity to catch your breathing. After hopping around and elevating our heart rate, I'm giving the opportunity to really work into the hips, to open up, to open the chest and engage the middle back, the thoracic spine. Some of the most sticky part of the back is that middle back. So what a great opportunity to spread the chest and engage the back body. Three, two, one, that's it. Okay, so we don't see those four cardio movements again today. Huzzah, we move into strength. Last time for all three movements, the squat hold, then we move into the single side hinge, other side hinge, and finish with the squat rack, okay? Timer starts in three, two, one, and hold. How low can you hold? Yep, how low can you hold? Can you get your elbows to touch your knees? Can you just close your eyes and breathe? Maybe I sink down a little lower. What, what would I not want you to do? Roll the feet up, right? So if that means you take a little wider stance to get a little lower, there's no shame in that. Yep. 
I did this yesterday, so my legs are like, wait a second, though. You just did this. This isn't fair. I know. Fair is a four letter word, right? Three, two, you've come this far. Don't stop now. Rise. Go down and do my left arm first. Step your feet a little closer together. Hinge. I'm going to do two wide grip rows. Why not? Rise. Same side. Hinge. So, what else is working here? My back, my seat. My middle back, my lower back, my middle back, right? Back side of the shoulder, maybe. Core. So I like this activity because it really does target some of the biggest muscles in our bodies. And if you don't feel it, it's okay. Maybe do another row at the bottom. Good. I want you to switch your arms here. Move it on over to the opposite arm. Let's do it again. For me, this is my right side. It's a little stronger. I'm still gonna do two rows because I did two rows on the first side, my left side, just for, again, that muscular balance. Showing you a different vantage point here. So maybe your back is really tired. You don't go as low. You do a row and you squeeze your cheeks to rise. Do that as an alternative. To get a little lower is a little harder. Make sure you're not holding your neck here. You've got five more seconds. I end up looking kind of forward of my toes. Three, two, and one. Good. Bring your feet as wide as your mat. Set your dumbbell down. Squat down. Reach with the left. Rack. Drop it off. Switch. Rack. Drop it off. Switch. Rack. Let me show this to you from the side so you can see how low my seat goes. To my knees. Whew. Little pulse, right? We're gonna get a minute to recover. We're gonna learn four more cardio activities for the day. That's what's happening in block four. Whew. So finish this last 10 seconds out. Whew. Gather up that energy, you're gonna get a recovery. Work smart, three, two, and my friends, that's the end of block three. Cheers. Okay. Block number four is cardio. You will not need anything except for your mat and a good catitude. Cheers. Oh, I think I said that just a moment ago. I didn't grab a sip of water. Hello. Next week, it'll be my first Mondays with Mandy at my new place. So hopefully all the internet works. That's all I got to say about that. Ah, uh, technology, I tell you. Okay, so this one, you're gonna start at the back of your mat. You're gonna walk it out to plank, then you're gonna walk it forward, and you're going to jab shuffle back. That's effort one. Effort two, you straddle your mat in sumo, and we're gonna twist, 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 twist and then cross, 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 but you stay low, all right? So you know the first two activities, we shall start. Three, two feet hip distance apart, let's go. Walk it out, plank, hold for a moment. Hips up and back, tiptoe forward. Rise and jab, shuffle back. Mandy, what if I wanted to add a push up here? I say go for it. But if you don't feel like it, you don't have to, it's not in the prescription today. And if you're not jumping, your way backward could literally just be a walk backward. I'll show it to you if you like visuals. I walk my way back. Yep. This is time for one more. This is four, three, two, and one. Straddle your mat. Good, arms together. One, two, three, four, center. One, two, three, four, center. One, two, three, four, center. Center. So you're doing thoracic rotation into full punch. You stay low in the legs. Can you get lower? Maybe emphasize a little heel lift. You've got 10 more seconds. So maybe I lift off those heels. Twist, 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 woo! Cross, 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 cross. Done. Third activity. 
This one's simple. Step touch. Hey, we got a guest appearance by DJ Jessica. Open up the arms. I'm bringing back my Jane Fonda, my friends. I am opening up my chest here. Woo. Nice. Your back is flat, your neck is long. Can you move to the tempo? Eight, seven. Now in a moment, we've got upper body cardio, single leg balance in four. Good, three. I feel my shoulders, I feel the opening of my chest. Two and one. Balance on the right foot. Reach forward, three pulls, and switch. Left foot balance. Pull, 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 switch. Pull, 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 switch. Pull, 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 switch again. Oh my gosh, can you lean forward more? So for me, maybe I'm leaning all the way parallel to the ground, right? She talked about having good hamstring mobility. What a way to prove it. Ah! Switch those feet. Switch again. Almost there, time. Okay, so that is the end of block four, round one. You're gonna do that again for round two, right? Because we did that cardio, four moves, two rounds through, rest, final bit of strength, which is all on the floor today, and then another rest, you do it a second round. Everything is the same amount of time, 45 seconds. Starting with cardio, we're gonna come to the back of the mat. Three, two, one, we go. Hinge, walk it out, plank, optional push-up. This time, instead of hips up and uh, stepping forward, try jumping forward, shuffle it back. Walk it out, plank, jump it in, shuffle it back. You don't have to jump, right? So it could be a walk out. It could be a tiptoe in. It could be a step back. Right, I'm meeting you where you're at today. If you want to add in, make it a little hotter. Give me a push up, jump those feet in, really shuffle your way back. Five, four, this looks beautiful. Two, hold your sumo, hold your plie, tuck that tailbone. I'm going to show this to you from the side, it'll be really helpful here. Twist, 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 hold, cross, 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 hold. Twist, 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 hold. Cross, 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 cross. You're getting your whole upper body to twist. What's going on here below? Nothing, 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 nothing. So stay low. Hold for a moment, then car. I don't know why I said car, but low. Hold. One, two, three, four, hold. Step touch. Step touch. Can you lean forward a little more? Uh-oh, I've got a little guest appearance by Umi in the corner there. Low impact cardio. Mandy, how could I make this harder? I could jump it. Right? Or you could stay where I'm at. Oh man, cardio just doesn't seem to get easier for me. Maybe that's just my personal problem. 15 more seconds. I feel this in my shoulders. What's about to happen? Triple pull down, single leg balance. Yep. You're there, you're there. Give me four seconds. Three, two, balance on either foot. I'm going to go with my left. Three pulls. One, two, three. Switch the feet. You don't have to hop switch, right? I could just step it down. Mandy, my balance is really hard today. I don't feel like I'm getting an effective workout. Take that toe down. One, two, three, switch the feet. And the reason this is cardio is because it's upper body pull. Move it quick. So say for example, you're like, forget the legs. I just want to get the pull, do just the pull. Yeah, you got 15 more seconds. Choose your poison. Yes, Elaine, I'm seeing some really nice work, you guys. Almost there, this is five, four, three, come on fam, two, 
and one rest. Okay, we're done with our cardio blocks. All done. We're not done done, sorry. That was wishful thinking. So you have to learn one more block of work. All of it's on the floor. So now's the time to get out a mat if you don't have it. You're gonna bring your weight down with you. So you're gonna bring your dumbbell or your kitty litter, whatever you have for some sort of load. Now, you have about 25 seconds until we start. First activity, we're in this seated position. We're gonna hold the dumbbell, twist, reach up, reach low, return. Then you're gonna switch your sides. That's action one. Action two, we're gonna lie down, one supine press, sit it up and switch the dumbbell. We'll do the same thing on the other side. We know the first two, we'll learn the second two. Are we ready? Say yes. Timer starts in two, one. We twist, we reach high, we reach low, we center. Showing this to you on a little bit of a diagonal. Twist, reach up, reach low, center. Twist, reach high, reach low, center. Twist, reach high, reach low, center. You've got 15 more seconds. If you wanna be distracted, just watch Umi. She's decided her workout is gonna to be to try to destroy my notebook. Okay, three, two, reach high, reach low. Set the dumbbell in the left hand. Showing this to you from the side, I'm gonna roll down. I'm gonna press. I bring it in. I switch the dumbbell to the right. I roll down. I do a press. I bring it into both hands, I rise up, I switch it over to the left again. Maybe I hold my abs, maybe I hold my head. There are options here. If sit-ups are not in the cards for you, lie down, stay down, do one press and then the other arm. For example, I'm here, I return, I'm here, I return. So you're just alternating the arms in that supine position or you're coming with me for the sit-up. Three, two, one, time. Good, I want you to hold bridge, hold the dumbbell in both hands, little pump. Heels down. From the front, I'm bringing it into my heart and punching it up to the sky. So I'm getting a narrow grip press with my hips up, which releases those flexors. If it's too much to have the hips up, just release the flexors with the legs straight. Keep pressing your lower back into the floor. Pool high, no, no. Kitty, no, no. Kitty, no, no. I love you so much. Yeah. You're done in five. Got one more activity. In my opinion, it's my least favorite. I'm gonna bring that weight right in the center of my mat at the top. I'm gonna straddle my weight with my hands. High plank, my feet are wide. I'm gonna bring it in, curl to the chest, return, curl to the chest. So literally, if I were facing the floor here, I'm holding my dumbbell right between my hands. I curl to the chest. I return it. I curl to the chest. I'll show this to you a little profile in the middle. I'll curl and switch. It's like a shoulder tap, but with a dumbbell. Five. Four, oh my gosh, no, no. Two, and rest. Okay, Elaine, you can totally um, empathize with me here, right? Elaine has a kitten as well, so we're just trying to keep them from hurting themselves, people. No, 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 no. I love you so much. We're resting. Um, if you don't like rock music, I'm sorry, but I do. And because I make this class up, we get to listen to it. If you. You can skip it if you want, I don't care. So in five seconds, we go for a final time. This is the last foursome, no new news, just doing the same thing. Can we do it? Yes, all right, heels down. Here we go, I twist, I reach high, I reach low, I return through center. I twist, I reach up, I reach low, I come back through center. Showing this to you from the front again. Reach high, low, return. Reach, can I lean back a little more without compromising my back body? Showing this to you from the side. 
I'm in a reclining chair, but I'm not relaxing. It's not a lazy boy. It's a hard working gal. All right. Five, four, three, two, time. Single arm. I lower down, head down. Two, chest press. Bring it through center. Switch it to the left. Lower it down. Two, chest presses right along the chest cavity. Showing this to you from the side. Rolling it down. Return, rise it up. Oh, you think it's time to play, I see. Switch the arms. They really are fun, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not mad about it. I might seem like I am, I'm not. Four, three, two, give me one more just because we've got the time. Last time, and then come back up. Awesome, split the dumbbell between the hands, fast. Lift the hips. Little post exhaustion of the front side of the shoulders here. Punch the sky. Keep those hips up. Push. 25 seconds to go. Can your elbows graze the floor and then straighten? Knuckles to the sky. Heels down, toes up, keep the bridge. You're done in 10 seconds. We have one thing left to do. It's the plank with the circular curl or the shoulder tap, no weight. That's totally up to you. You're there in four, three, two, one. Rock and roll yourself up. Set the dumbbell down right at the top of your mat. Straddle it with your hands, plank position, your feet are wide apart. And begin your shoulder tap. So today's workout is all about targeting these larger muscle groups in the very beginning and tapering our way down to some smaller muscle groups or complex that really work some assister muscles throughout. So this is a total body strength and cardio conditioning class. Tell your friends, tell your mom, you're done in five, four, three, two, and that's the end of this one today. So drop off your dumbbell away from your mat. Just sit down for a moment. Put one hand on your heart, one hand on your navel. Close your eyes, just breathe. <sighs> Again. <sighs> one more time. Breathe into the belly, breathe into the heart. <sighs> We're gonna stretch here in about 10 seconds. So if you need a quick, quick sip of water, grab it. If you need to leave, just know your body does need a stretch. So if you would just take two minutes and stretch. Um, we're gonna spend two minutes together. So when you feel ready, come on down to all fours. Once you're on all fours, I'll show this to you a little profile here. I'm gonna take the right arm, reach it open, ring out the right wrist. And then we're gonna sweep the right arm through and rest the right side of the face on the floor. I'm taking the left arm a little higher to give myself a little space. If this feels nice, maybe you take the left arm and wrap it around the back to open up the front side of the shoulder on the left. Good return through center, rise back up. One cat cow, inhale to lift the chest. Exhale to round the spine. Good, come back to your center, switching your sides. Left arm is gonna reach up. T the arms, ring out the wrist of the left. Twist through, rest the left side of the face, reach the right arm up. Good, if this felt good on side one, take the right arm, wrap it around the back, open up the front side of the chest. Unwind the half body, return through center. Press yourself back, up and back to down dog. Take the right arm, wrap it around, left calf. Return through the center and switch. Nice little hamstring stretch here. Let's pedal out the feet. So just showing this to you from the side. Feeling the back side of the leg really open up. Then from here, look forward, tiptoe the feet forward. Keep the feet wide apart, bend your knees, tuck your chin and roll to stand. Once you're standing, clasp the hands behind the back, open the chest cavity. Bring the fists over towards that right uh, side body. Good, look to the left and lean towards the right. Good, back through center. Extend the fists back, fold over the legs. Shake out the head knowing yes. And then slowly begin to roll yourself up. Good, bend the elbow of the right, bring it onto that left hip. 
Look over the right and lean, lean over to the right. Took me a second. And back through center. Shake it all off. Come on over to the screen. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, everybody. Questions, comments, concerns, take yourself off of um, mute and we will we'll chat.